theming of this restaurant is incredible. I feel like I'm in a Taiwanese temple right now. Thank you. Thank you. So we got ourselves a pumpkin milk seafood hot pot. Hey guys. hey guys! Welcome back to the vlog! Last week, we visited one of Vancouver's favorite ski resort, Cypress Mountain. Rented some snowshoes thinking we can probably do a simple loop in a couple of hours. Spoiler alert, it took half a day. It wasn't all bad though because we got to play with snow, had some poutine, mm, it's so good. and explored Cypress Mountain's winter wonderland. Today, we are gonna attempt to travel to Taiwan without leaving the city of Vancouver. We know what you guys are thinking. How is that possible? Max and I have always been wanting to travel to different parts of Asia. And being Asians, it's sadly that we've only been to a couple of places. And Taiwan has always been in our bucket list. And since we can't travel right now, the next best thing that we can do is to go to a themed Taiwanese restaurant here in Vancouver and try their cuisine. Quite a gloomy day here in Vancouver today. But it's actually forecasted to snow today, but I guess it warmed up and the snow turned into rain. We don't really get a lot of sunshine here in Vancouver during the winter season. But at least it wasn't like yesterday. This restaurant is incredible. I feel like I'm in a Taiwanese temple right now. So we're here in Memory Corner here in Richmond and it's one of the more popular themed Taiwanese restaurants here in Vancouver. Why does it taste like a milk tea? It does? <laughs> it tastes like a Taiwanese black tea. Not quite sure, but I think milk teas originated in Taiwan. That's why it tastes like milk tea. And anywhere in 2021, they don't hand out menus anymore. You just scan a barcode through your phone and you just order through online. I feel like you're in the streets of Taiwan right now. There's like even yo-yos and toys around. There's a can of sardines up there. Maybe it's a Taiwanese street game. It's like a childhood game, maybe. I think it's called Memory Corner because they display a collection of Taiwanese memorabilia. I even have a rusty motorbike behind me. I guess motorbikes are a thing in Taiwan, right? Most Asian countries. After doing some research about the place, we discovered that the interior decoration in Memory Corner was inspired by the owner's grandparents, which had a family-owned restaurant back in Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you. This looks so good. So we got ourselves a pumpkin milk seafood hot pot. They dried ribs fried rice. Some deep fried squid. And a serving of deep fried chicken. You can tell. We don't like deep fried. <laughs> so this milk pumpkin seafood hot pot, I think describes itself. So you got a bunch of seafood in there. There's like shrimp, crabs, squid balls, fish balls. And you get a bunch of vegetables with it, like bok choy and lettuce. The soup is so creamy and it's perfect right now for this rainy weather. Look how big this squid ball is. Mm. 
quite interesting because the shrimp still has its shell on. Do we eat this with the shell? I managed to remove the shell out of the shrimp using chopsticks. That's quite a skill, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some tofu in there too. The soup wouldn't be the same unless you sip it out of this bowl. It's just like a party in a bowl. This soup goes perfectly with rice. Cooking in my fourth bowl. It's that good. I think I got a crab. Mm. Let's put this aside. Now this is a deep fried dry rib fried rice. You can see the dry ribs right there and underneath is the fried rice. So for the fried rice, you got some green onions, you got some um, corn, carrots. It looks so good. And I think it has some eggs too. Dried ribs is pretty good. It's quite soft, quite tender. Let's see the fried rice. Fried rice is perfect too. So you know how other fried rices have quite some oil in it? This one's just perfect. It's not quite salty too. Mm. The dry ribs is pretty soft. Thank you. Now this is the deep fried squid. This kind of reminds me of our favorite dish from the Richmond Night Market, like one of those deep fried squids. Let's see if it's the same. I think this is a bigger squid than what we are used to from the Richmond Night Market, but it's quite crispy. I would say the same amount of seasoning. It can get quite salty though, so it's a good thing that they have a sweet and sour sauce. The one in Richmond Market. <laughs> and for our last dish, we have the deep fried chicken. And I think something is just getting out of place out there. <laughs> <laughs> one piece of beef. Maybe it's a garnish. <laughs> Here it comes. It's crispy on the outside and soft in the inside. It's perfectly seasoned. It's really good. Mm. It's kind of like the chicken pops because it's smaller chicken, right? Smaller pieces. Now I think what makes it so tasty is they're using real garlic with it. So you can really taste the garlic. And just like that, we're back in Vancouver. So for all that food, it costed us about $60, and that's including taxes plus tip. And that's how you travel to Taiwan without leaving Vancouver, Canada. Hope you guys enjoyed this mini food vlog. And as always, if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. It wouldn't be the same. The soup wouldn't be the same. <laughs> I can help myself. Wait, I don't think we have spoons. Do we use spoons here? I think we have a problem. So Filipinos like us are pretty used to eating rice with spoons. And now we have chopsticks. I just can't get the right amount of rice even if I try the hardest. 
I think I found the trick. You just need to align the rice in your bowl and slide it in your mouth. Works good. This is the outcome of ordering too much. Now we have dinner for later. Not the garnish. <laughs> so I don't feel bad for myself. 